Reversing to Krejci. Krejci stick handles over the spoke beam, drives it around the boards. Lucic on the far side, reverses to Krejci on a pulls down the near boards. Krejci brings it back to Hamilton. Hamilton, high slot, Lucic to Krejci. Krejci on the backhand, past Ashton, goes to the corner. Setters looking for Ginla as Paul Ranger is without his stick. I don't know if he just lost it or if it broke, but the Bruins working a de facto power play here. Hamilton goes cross ice and Ginla holds. Rangers play with a teammate's stick. That gets deflected out of the middle, but Hamilton keeps it in the attacking zone. Whips it over to Seidenberg, fakes the shot. Krejci middle of the blue line giving him an option. Here's a Ginla shovels to Krejci, touches back to Seidenberg. The drive is well wide. A Ginla hustling corner to corner to keep it alive. Banks it to Hamilton, throws it into the circle. Too much traffic and Toronto a little bit confused here. Lucic slipping it past to Ginla who takes a big hit. Seidenberg off of Ashton and then he wrists it around through the corner. The Bruins making Toronto labor here. A long time out there for the Leafs. Hamilton holding. He's got Lucic as an option. Hamilton closes as the Bruins change out. Cross ice. The shot and a save by Reimer. Tumbling as Krejci was a little bit off balance and the puck ends up going off the side of the goal and Ginla jams it in front. Tremendous pressure. A minute and 15 in the Toronto end for the Bruins. Krejci holding at the half boards. The Leafs are tuckered out. Krejci to the dot to Lucci. Cross ice. Jar on the shot. Couldn't get it under the bar. Hamilton keeps it in for the third time. It's a minute and 30th zone time on this shift alone. Lucci holding against Ranger. Out muscles and gets it back to the corner to Krejci. Krejci across to Chara. Chara draws Kessel and sends it around through the corner. 145 now. Krejci down into the corner to Lucic. Lucic gets wrapped up by McClement. Here comes again, and he caves in. Frazier, the Bruins storming Toronto's end. Reimer having to do it by himself. A penalty coming up against Toronto. McKinla stick handles all the way to the post. Is it in? The referee says no. They'll look. The puck's over the line. The puck was over the line. Torture chamber for the Leafs. The guess is that they're going to see it's in on replay, but say it was dead in the head. In other words, doesn't matter when you hear the whistle, the referee had declared the play dead. That's the guess. And from our vantage point up top here on the ninth floor, we had a pretty good angle of uh, Aguila pushing that puck across the goal line short side under that left pad. Well, you're right, Jack. This will be the dead the head call. The Bruins will not be awarded a goal, but what a shift. He had Ranger out there on defense with Frazier. Jared Smithson signed as an emergency replacement when the center started going down for Toronto. Krug over to Aginla, the backhand saved by Reimer. He scores! Getting it in front to Chara. It was a thing of beauty. Right off the draw, he locks up with Fanouk. Good body contact that's working the front of the net. And because he occupies Fanouk, it allows Aginla to find open space on the offside. He's able to handle that pass on the backhand and tries to beat Reimer with a backhand move himself. When that doesn't work, he's able to stay with it. Fanouk has to leave Chara.